As a child, I often dreamed of becoming an astronaut or even President of the United States, but eventually gained the insight to recognize this as the only position of vital importance. Workers have begun the difficult task of decommissioning the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. One of their biggest hurdles they're facing is how to remove melted fuel from the crippled reactors. Fifth recipe of the day, the crowd's behind her, but she's coming off of a tough loss. She has to shake off that loss, dial in to beat one of the best chefs in the world at a chance at $60,000. First, they need to know the condition of the fuel. Experts believe the fuel has cooled down and turned into debris. But engineers with Tokyo Electric Power Company have not been able to check the actual state of the debris because of the high levels of radiation. How's everything going up here, Alicia? Salmon got a little brown, so I threw on some extra pieces there. Now they might have figured out a way to measure the highly toxic materials. Today's Nuclear Watch focuses on efforts to overcome this problem. These flashing streaks show the passage of elementary particles called muons. The particles rain down from space. Every minute, 10,000 muons per square meter land on Earth. Scientists have relied on this particle to probe materials that are beyond our reach. One example is volcanic magma. The technique is called muon imaging or muon tomography. When the particles hit a high density object such as magma, they lose energy or are absorbed. By measuring these changes, scientists can determine the shape of the magma in a way that resembles an x-ray. Are you all concerned about that burning? I'm going to taste one right now and see how we go. We got some time. Researchers are now hoping to use this technique to gain a better understanding of the situation inside the damaged reactors of Fukushima Daiichi. All right, remember, you have to think about what the dinner party wants too. Best of luck. By using muons, we expect to be able to look for the presence of heavy materials, even if radiation levels are so high that we cannot approach the area. One of the studies is being conducted by scientists from Toshiba and the U.S. Los Alamos National Laboratory. Their plan is to place detectors on opposite sides of the reactor. The detectors will be used to track the behavior of muons as they pass through the concrete walls and the shielding of the reactor in a bid to determine the status of the molten fuel. All right, that salmon looked really, really dark. I'm very concerned about its appearance. It looks burnt. However it tastes, the way it looks to our dinner party may affect the way they judge it. This image shows the results of a test on uranium fuel. The longer the measurements take place, the more accurate the image becomes. Tests are now underway to develop the equipment needed at Fukushima Daiichi. Kenji Okamoto has been covering this story. He explains what lies ahead for the scientists. She can't afford to make any mistakes. Team members face big challenges. The first is installing the equipment. The detectors are very large and heavy. The molten fuel inside the reactors is believed to have sunk to the bottom of the containment vessels. So scientists must place the detectors around the vessels deep underground. The job is made even more difficult as the whole radio is cluttered with pipes and cables. It's also flooded with contaminated water. An engineer I spoke to expressed some concerns. The detectors need to be big to observe something as big as a nuclear reactor. Taking them to the site and assembling them in a radioactive environment will be tough. We need to do more work. Another obstacle is the extremely high radiation being emitted by the surroundings. This creates noise that could disrupt the study by affecting the devices. If this happens, 
researchers won't be able to correctly grasp the situation inside the reactors. These are just some of the issues the studies must address. All right, chef, so tell me where you're at. The salmon is in the oven. I'm making an avocado crema. I'm just hoping that they... Engineer. It's like, I don't even know what to do. Oh my God, he's still holding his gun out. The man is dead.